Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement a speech recognition in a Python. So this is very small code, really very small code. You need to install these two libraries and you need to write then this code. So without wasting your time, let's go ahead and start this brand new lesson. I'll be explaining you how you can do all those things. Okay, all right. Now we will first start installing speech recognition library. So first of all, you need to open Anaconda prompt in your computer, open it into administrator mode. Once you open it into administrator mode, then you need to write here pip install uh, speech recognition. Right? So it will search it and install it in your computer. It might take a little time to complete the installation. Alright, so once it is installed, let's go ahead and install a Pi Audio in your computer. Unless and until you install these two library in your computer, e speech recognition will not work. Okay, so here we have installed Pi Audio. The Konda install Pi Audio. It will search a, necess a necessary and compatible package for your computer and accordingly it will install it. Just wait for a few seconds, it will start installing it. And Konda, what it does, uh, it automatically search dependency packages in 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 a Pi Audio. You see here, the dependency packages of the Pi Audio is a port audio. So before installing a Pi Audio, it will first install a port audio and then Pi Audio. Let's go ahead and install these two libraries. These are the very important libraries. And if you are working other than um, other than the Windows computer like uh, uh, Ubuntu or Macbook, then you need to install the port audio as well. You might install it separately. That could be the case. Although now we have installed the port audio, Pi audio and the speech recognition library. This is all. Now we are free to go ahead to write our code. So. So let's go ahead and import a speech recognition package in our Jupyter Notebook. That we can do with import and then speech recognition as SR. Okay, so we have got speech recognition object as SR. Let's go ahead and create an object from this SR. That is, let's say, uh, uh, say here, uh, recognition. Okay recognition or let's go ahead just say r r is equal to uh, sr dot recognition okay and uh, uh, recognizer actually with this if you press here shift and the double tab it says that it doesn't take any input that is it, it is just creating here a object of recognizer let's go ahead and run this and now let's go ahead and create a source with this sr that is speech recognition package with that we can do here with sorry uh, with sr dot microphone as source okay so now we have a microphone as a source in our computer now what we are going to write here we are going to print that let's go ahead and say something okay perfect Right, now let's go ahead and record the audio and we can get that audio by calling R. R is sr.recognizer and then here we are writing here listen in background and a listen. A listen in background that's mean it will keep listening in the background but here we want to listen at the front and the source will be sr.microphone. Okay, and if you see here press shift and the double uh, tab you will see it says that the timeout, uh, the phrase timeout limit and, uh, you know, uh, the snowboy configuration. Now, if you see the timeout parameter is the maximum number of seconds that this will wait for a phrase to start before giving up and throwing in speech recognition. Wait for timeout error. That's when here we can say that the timeout, let's say for 5 seconds, it will just listen for 5 seconds. So, what we are going to do here. Uh, we are going to pass a timeout of 10 seconds. Let's okay, and uh, 
the time out here is the 10 and uh, then let's go ahead and the try it with the try and uh, accept block and in try we are going to write here the text which is uh, you know the converted text from r dot recognize okay so here we have uh, sorry it, it, it is recognize now you see here it has so many apis for recognition so it has apis from uh, you know the bing google google cloud houndify ibm there are so many uh, you know the recognition libraries we are going to use here google recognition library and in that we are going to pass here our audio data okay now let's go ahead and print the text and uh, you were saying what I was saying actually let's go ahead and see what I was saying that we can just write here the text perfect and if it doesn't work then it will print here into uh, um, accept block okay and in accept block let's handle this error and the error we are just going to print something that uh, uh, sorry try again perfect so we have our code let's go ahead and run this it says that there is an error here it says that uh, uh, something is wrong here all right so this is showing an error here uh, this error actually coming from here okay so now it is uh, yeah so we have got it working let's go ahead and press here shift and the enter hi this is Lachmi Kantiwari and we welcome you in KGP Talkie right see here this is a fantastic hi this is Lachmi Kantiwari and we welcome you in KGP you know talky so there is some kind of you know a small error although what we are going to do it we are going to run it again let's go ahead and run it again hi I'm sure you are learning something from this video and please keep watching and like this video See here, hi, I'm sure you are learning something from this video and please keep watching and like this video. This is fantastic. Now you can go ahead and build your own speech recognition in Python.